another round of Hey Scan emails. I'm your host, Bob Scanlon. Padres on a roll. They win again tonight, beating the Milwaukee Brewers 9 to nothing, improving their overall record of 14 and 8. And uh, game and a half lead over the San Francisco Giants in the National League West. A ton of emails come in, just so you'll know. I try to pick out some emails each night that uh, seem to be the most prevalent, uh, so I can answer as many people as I possibly can. Uh, but if, I, if you don't see your email answered on the uh, Hey Scan email, video that I do each night, then I'm probably answering you via the uh, traditional email way. So anyway, your answers, your questions are getting answered one way or another. Let's get to it. Oh, hey, by the way, getting a lot of questions about this. The Scanlon Family Crest Cup, it's still alive. Yeah, we have the Saquon Cup uh, on our post-game show, but the Scanlon Cup is still alive. We'll, we'll save it for the Hey Scan emails. Let's get to it. Um, Greg. Hey, Scan, while Wade seems to be doing more than a fine job filling in for CY, do you see the Padres keeping LeBlanc or Matt Latos when Chris Young is ready to go? You know, this is the big question tonight, no, no doubt about it. Everybody wants to know what's going to happen when Chris Young is ready to come back. Well, that's still at least probably, uh, I'd say, seven to ten days away. Uh, but when that does happen, hey, it's a fluid situation. And obviously the Padres wanted Matt Latos to step up, and, and he won that job out of spring training. Uh, but at this point, this team's in first place, and Wade LeBlanc's doing a great job. I think the Padres are just going to have to evaluate when Chris Young actually is ready to be reactivated, who is throwing the ball best. Uh, maybe it is the best thing for Matt Latos to get, go back down. Maybe it's not. Maybe by that point, uh, he's settled down and thrown a couple of so solid outings in a row. So, again, I think it's a fluid situation, but certainly the team being in first place has added a different variable into the equation of uh, how you evaluate who gets sent down. Matt, uh, Matt uh, Wade LeBlanc has done an absolutely fantastic job. Um, you know, and with regards to that, some people here, Thomas wants to know, look, if it's possible when Chris Young returns, could he go to the bullpen? He might be really effective coming out of the bullpen. You know, very difficult for guys coming off shoulder surgery to come out of the bullpen. It's tough. You're down there. You've got to get loose real quick. You might get up, uh, have to get up two or three times in a ball game. That can take a toll on the sh shoulder. So in general, when a guy is coming back from shoulder surgery, the starting position is the optimal way to go because you, it's much more controlled. You don't have to worry about getting loose quickly. You can take your time. Uh, so I think that would be a tough way for Chris Young to go. And uh, hey, the guy's done a great job as a starter. Why would you want to put him in the bullpen? And it's certainly not going to be any easier on his shoulder. Um, Follow-up question to that, what about having Matt Latos work from the bullpen? Don wants to know about that. Um, again, young guy. His future is as a starting pitcher. To put him in the bullpen just limits the number of innings that he's going to throw. Also makes it more difficult possibly for him to throw all of his pitches. Hey, if you send Matt Latos down, he's going down to start. His future is to be an ace uh, starting pitcher. And the only way that's going to happen is for him to get his consistent outings. Uh, I don't think putting him in the bullpen at this point is the best thing for his future by any means. Jamie, hey, uh, Scan, what's the deal with the giant handheld microphones the guys use in the pregame show? Why don't they just use those little clip-on microphones? Good question. I know these big things look bulky, but you know what? They're very directional. What does that mean? When I'm talking, all you're going to hear in the microphone is me talking. With the clip-on microphones, you hear everything. It picks up all the ambient noise. It picks up the fans. It picks up everything else that's going on. So uh, the bottom line is they're still the best microphones for knocking out all the crowd noise when you hear exactly what this person is saying. So uh, they haven't figured that one out. You're going to see the big microphones for a little while there. Next, uh, Kaylee. Been watching baseball all my life, only recently noticed the sign that a pitcher gives an infielder after a hitter's reached first base. It looks like the hang loose sign. Hang loose, bruh, that they use in Hawaii. They're not hanging loose. They're talking to the shortstop or the second baseman. When runner, runner gets on first base as a pitcher, I want to know who's covering second base on a ground ball that's hit back to me. So I look back at my shortstop and my second baseman. I find out who, hey, you and me? You and me, shortstop? Okay, no, not you. You and me and the second baseman? Okay, got it. You're just communicating so you have no confusion on the ground ball that comes back to you, who you're going to turn that double play with. Uh, Devin, hey, Scan, how long is Everett going to be out, and what do you think? how do you like the job that Jerry Hairston's doing filling in? You know what, Devin, I think, uh, first of all, Jerry Hairston's doing a fantastic job filling in for, uh, for Everett. Everett, of course, has the, the strained hamstring right now. He did get an MRI done. They found that he has a strained hamstring. I suspect that they're probably going to put him on the disabled list. Disabled list, at least that's what we were hearing out of Buddy today in the pregame. Uh, if that happens, that's a good question. Who do they call up? Lance Zawadzki, who we saw in spring training, uh, was originally playing shortstop down in AAA. He's actually over at second base now and hitting only a buck 67. So uh, I'm not sure what their options are of calling somebody up to fill in 
if they put Everest on the DL. Meanwhile, Jerry Harrison is doing a great job. Hey, John wants to know, I'm not sure if this is a typo, but the uh, stats show that Matt Stairs has a batting average of 154 and an on-base percentage of 143. How is that possible? Uh, well, one way it's possible is with the sacrifice fly. If a guy gets a base hit, of course he gets credit for that. But if he hits a sacrifice fly, it doesn't lower his batting average at all, but it will lower his on-base percentage. That's how you can have an on-base percentage that's lower than your batting average. Uh, Dan wants to know, hey, Scan, why when the Padres uh, come out of the field, Adrian switches balls with somebody in the dugout? Everybody, I get this question a lot. They see Adrian Gonzalez come running in at the end of the inning. He's got, he's got the ball that he caught from the last out. He goes to the dugout. He tosses the ball, and he gets a new one. Basically what he's doing is he's tossing the game ball into the stands most of the time to a fan, and then he's always given a ball from the dugout. And that ball is the ball that he'll use to warm up the infield the next inning. So whether he, gets, whether he makes the last out or not, he's always getting a ball thrown at him from the dugout as he comes in, and he's got a ball in his glove. Next inning when he goes out, he's already got a ball, boom, boom, boom. They can warm up the guys on the infield, and he's ready to go. So nice of Adrian to toss those game balls into the stands for some fans. I uh, hope that answers that question. Hey, Eric wants to know, notice that the third inning, Ryan Braun was on first base, and he started talking to Gonzalez. They appeared to be having a nice conversation. What's up with that? Eric wants to know, hey, why are guys talking during the ball game? Aren't they supposed to be mortal enemies? No, not necessarily. Look, there's 162 ball games in the course of a season. You're going to chit-chat with the guy on first base. And keep this in mind, a lot of times, guys are trying to set each other up. You know what? There's a lot of time, a lot of catchers that are talking to the batters. They're, they don't really care if the batter's having a good day. He really doesn't care where the batter went for dinner that night. He really doesn't care about what kind of car he's driving. He's just trying to distract that guy and see if you can sneak that fastball by him. So the chit-chat isn't always uh, conversational. Sometimes it's one guy trying to set another guy up or distract him. But, hey, let's face it, in a 9 nothing ball game, you're standing on first base. You're probably looking for somebody to talk to also. Amy wants to know, hey, Skin, near the end of spring training, I heard that the Padres were leading baseball with the most stolen bases. Where do they stand now? The Padres have 23 stolen bases on the season. That's tied for first in the National League with the Washington Nationals, so the pods continue to run. Uh, one more here. Ryan, uh, da, 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 da. how come baseball players so much show so much less emotion throughout the course of a game? Even after great play, they don't get up and smile. You see it in football. You see it in basketball. What's up with that, man? These guys should be having more fun. Hey, Ryan, you know what? Over 162 game season, you can't be you can't be up and down and up and down and up and down like this. In football, you play once a week and you have a great play. Yeah, you get fired up. In baseball, hey guys are excited. They come in, they high five and everybody. But you can't be making a spectacle of yourself every time you make a nice play on the field. Hopefully, you're making a lot of nice plays over the course of a season. And you got to pace yourself, man. It's a long one. You don't want to get burned out. Hey, if you want to send me an email, go ahead. Send it to heyscan.com. More than happy to answer any of your emails, either either uh, through normal email or on the video thing that I do here. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you tomorrow.